so guys here you can see this is my fusion 360 so first thing i will do is i will save my drawing so click on the save icon and save your drawing let's say i will save it is a name bracket and i will click on this save option next we have to check that our drawing units are correct so here you can see my units is millimeter right now i will keep it as a millimeter the next thing will start creating a sketch so we'll click on this create a sketch option we'll select the plane first so we'll we're going to take this front plane as a sketch plane so here you can see i had selected the front plane as a sketch plane so now we'll go to normal to that plane to go to normal to that plane just click on this look at option and select the plane and so you are normal to that plane now we'll create our start creating our bracket sketches so here we'll see we'll select we'll select the first as a line and then we'll draw our line let's say we'll draw it randomly first so we'll just draw a l, l kind of shape so here you can see we had drawn a l kind of shape so this is our sketch and this is not constrained so we'll start putting some dimension before putting dimension we'll specify some of the users parameter so we can control our design so we'll go to this modify option we'll go to change parameters so here you can see there is no parameters as defined so we are going to define some of the parameters so let's say we'll click on this plus option and we'll define some parameters let's say length and we'll specify it a uh, unit as millimeter and value let's say 50 and we'll press ok so here you can see we have defined our first parameter in the same way we'll click on this add option and we'll define the other parameters like weight we'll specify it as a same 50 mm and the next parameter will define as a height and we'll specify the units let's say it's millimeter and let's say height as also 50 mm and we'll press ok so here you can see if we had defined the three parameters to just start creating our drawings so then we'll press, press ok so here you can see we are now again back in our sketch environment now we'll click on this sketch dimension we'll select this line and we'll specify this dimension as a length so we'll just type length and here you can see it is giving me option to select length i will just select this and we'll press enter so here you can see we, we had fixed the length based on our parameters that we had defined the same way we'll uh, define this one as let's say height and we'll click on this height option and we'll press enter so here you can see we have defined our height now we'll uh, we also need to specify the thickness of this uh, lc bracket since we had not defined the parameters so we'll again go to modify option and we'll go to change parameters then we'll click on this add parameters here we'll define our thickness of bracket let's say thickness of bracket we're going to keep it as a 5 mm and we'll press ok and again we'll press ok here so here you can see and we'll again go to dimension and we'll dimension this as a thickness so this is our thickness and we'll press enter and we want to keep this thickness and this thickness equal so we'll select this line and this line and let's apply a constraint called equal so here you can see we had created our sketch here that is completely defined and is completely constrained by our different user parameters so the next thing we are going to give it uh, uh, some 3d extrusions here so we'll just click on this finish sketch then we'll click select this extrude option here and since our sketch is already selected so we'll just go here and we'll change this to symmetric and we'll specify here let's say we want the width we had already defined our parameters here so instead of width we can define this as a width divided by two so we'll get our exact width here and we'll press ok so now here you can see that we had created our l shaped bracket so now we are going to give it a more strength at the corners so to do so what we are going to do is we'll just select this plane and we'll click on this create a sketch option and then we'll select the line option and we'll join these two points in the same way on the other side we'll also will join these two points or we can leave it that we can first do it on the one single side we'll click on this finish sketch option then we'll go to this extrude option we'll select this close sketch and we want to give it a direction in, in that direction so we'll just specify here as a thickness so we'll just specify thickness and we'll press 
and since we are going to be in the other direction so we'll just specify minus here and we'll press enter so as you can see we have defined our thickness in the same manner we can just mirror this complete thing to the opposite direction also to do so just select this feature and we'll go to the create option we'll select this mirror option then we'll select the plane we will select this plane as a mirror plane and we'll press ok so here you can see we had created our bracket so this is how we had created our bracket so this is very simple bracket that i tried to show you that how users parameters work how parametric design works so let's see how parametric design works so we'll just turn off the origin for now so here you can see we'll just go to modify option we'll click on this change parameters so here we got our all four parameters that we had previously defined so here you can see instead of uh, suppose we want to change the thickness of this complete bracket so just go here and change this to 3 mm and here you can see our model is getting updated so this is how you, uh, you can control your design you don't need to uh, do the complete modeling from scratch you can just uh, whenever you are do doing modeling like this you just uh, try to experiment this with this user's parameter and you will able to control your design so will i will again make it uh, let's say 5 mm and if you want to change the uh, length width and height of the bracket from here we can also change it so suppose we want it uh, 100 mm so we can make it as 100 mm the once we click enter our model will get updated based on our user parameters so here you can see we are just putting the user parameters and our models is getting updated so this way we can control our models so uh, this was the tutorial on uh, parametric design so if you like this tutorial just follow my channel subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to leave your comments if you are having any problem in parametric design i am here to help you thanks for watching thank you